All right, I know everybody cares. Just like uh, your least favorite loved one's birthday. Like, that's how much you guys don't care. Uh, 205 Live is gone, thankfully. It's been there since 2016, since this whole Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. And it premiered over the show because they got a lot of indie darlings uh, over with the hardcores to try to promote more of a farm system for the Cruiserweights. What we thought was a good idea became a permanently bad idea when you put it, it, put it in its own show. When there's only so much you can do with something called the Cruiserweights division, and you put it on its own show, then you demote it to be uh, only for the developmental Cruiserweights, and then it gets shoved off the window to putting heavyweights in, like Odyssey Jones or Joe Gacy on, on TV. So they obviously didn't care. So they permanently replaced it instead of uh, after Friday's streaming, after SmackDown, uh... 205 Live is going to be replaced with a B show called NXT Level Up. Uh, so I guess it's for the. I guess it's going to be probably half an hour long. Uh, technically 30 minutes for like two matches where you're going to see the most BS work rate. That's barely going to promote any of the newer talent uh, featuring over on the two on the NXT 2.0 bland. Two. I was about to say bland. 2.0 brand. So. Technically, that's it. I I think they already retired. Did they retire the NXT uh, Cruiserweight Championship after uh, Carmelo uh, Carmelo Hayes uh, won it? We're gonna check on that real quick because over to the extent of me uh, not interested. I I think it was the best thing for NXT, for WWE to do, and it's been a long time coming. I, of course, ranted on uh, 205 Live before recently over in the channel not that long ago, probably six months ago. And it was kind of a dying cycle because the last time 205 Live got any semblance of buzz was, uh, I don't know, Enzo Amore. That's how sad it is. And given to the extent that they got rid of Brian, uh, Brian Kendrick's that's literally the only person that people could remember from 205 Live. Majority of people just getting relevant because of uh, NXT. There's no point. There's no freaking point. So, to the extent of this, like, at least the only positive is we don't need a cruiserweight division anymore, even though everybody wrestles like a cruiserweight. And, uh, you know, it just pushes up over to the right direction. I, I guess. I don't know why NXT UK still exists, but that's going to be a different video entirely when I actually find that's more interesting to talk about in the channel, even though it's probably going to get replaced by another C show for the main roster or another C show for NXT. So that's it coming for me. Thanks for watching the DSC show.